no, you, you know, you're, you're in good shape. So, Thank you. Thank uh, you. That's all we needed, guys. Thanks, as long as we got that on camera. Yeah, Michael Bay makes <clears throat> action movie stars, and now you are in with that list. That's, that must be exciting. Um, <clears throat> I don't know about Action Hero, but it certainly was amazing to be a part of this story in particular because it's about real heroes, so that was really uh, important to me. And then I think to be in a movie, a Michael Bay movie, is a rare experience for anybody. Um, but certainly to be in this movie uh, where he was doing something totally different than I think his more spectacular, fantastical, and fictional worlds, this one meant a lot to him. His movies uh, always like shake you up in a in a way that's you know it's a real experience seeing right. one of his films. You know, yeah, like, yeah. and there's bombs going off. When you're on set, is it is it quite stressful? Is it kind of like you're, you're sort of primed, ready to go at all <clears> times? <throat> I don't, I, I can't imagine you just sort of standing around drinking coffee, just chatting. It's just like, go, everybody yeah, yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's one of those things where um, I think a lot of people feel like um, because Michael's movies are usually so epic in nature and sort of this big world that a lot of it's CGI, which <clears throat> obviously for Transformers, there's a lot of CGI. For this one, it was almost all practical. I'd say 90, 98, 99% because practical meaning anytime there's a fire or a bomb going off, it's real. And we're actually walking by that explosion. And for this movie in particular, because it's such an intense story, um, that really helped because your instincts and your primal sort of fears kick in and you do do the fight or flight thing. So as an actor, it was really helpful to be a little bit scared on set. Mm. I always felt safe, but it was, uh, it was important for the, for the performances. You know, there was a poll uh, with people said, do you prefer skinny John Krasinski or, or, or muscly John? Which one do you like most? Wow, do I even get a vote? I feel like that's weird. But if I had to vote, I'd, I'd, I'd probably go with muscly just because that's what I'm doing now. I, I feel like when you get in the best shape of your life, I was 35 when we shot the movie, so when you're 35 and in the best shape of your life rather than 18, um, it's, a, it's a triumph, it's a victory. And your wife, Emily Blunt, she, she was like, oh, it's, I've got a, you know, John 2.0. <laughs> that's exactly what she said. She said John 2.0. Um, no, yeah, she was very, I, I got in trouble because I was trying to be sarcastic, saying to Stephen Colbert that she preferred doughy John. That was, that was a joke that obviously people didn't get. Um, no, she, she would take me any which way, I think, and um, she's very happy with this version right now. But again, I'm lucky enough to have a, a wife that would take me any which way, but uh, I don't think she's very upset about this version of me. And quickly before I go, I loved your story about being on the Golden Globes table with Leo DiCaprio and yes. those guys. I think people relate so much when you're in, a, in an awkward situation where people- Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that to me, where everyone was hugging and you're like, you're not yeah. in this, but you're just having- I was legitimately in the middle of a sandwich between one of the producers and the director as he was winning the award for best director, which is crazy and super embarrassing for me I, I, probably more for him, to be honest. I, I, he was probably saying very heartfelt thank yous and congratulations to his fellow crew members, and then he had some weird bearded guy sitting next to him. It's the, it's the most heightened equivalent of somebody waving at you and it not being you. Yes, exactly. And that happens a lot at the Golden Globes because you're so close together that you're waving at people and they think that you're waving at you.